Hello, this is Narf from Narf Sounds presenting the Patch of the Week. And today I'll be showing you how to create this particular sound. So what I've got there is a synth rise that I use when I play this chord. And as you can see, it's just isolated to that one note. And I've got the uh, pad and bell sound for the other notes. So first thing I'm going to do is go to program mode. So I'm going to use my quick access buttons and go to program and choose an EXI program, an initialized EXI program. So I'm in bank P, which is currently an EXI bank. And I'll just drag down and choose an init EXI program. So by default, these EXI programs have the AL1 synth, which is exactly what I want. And I'm going to go to the oscillator basic page by tapping that. And I'm going to change the waveform from a saw pulse to a detuned saw. And for oscillator two, I'm going to change the waveform as well and change that into a saw. And I've got this sound now. So sort of a detuned uh, synth sound. And what I might do as well is change the octave for oscillator two to negative one. So just a fatter sound right there. Next thing I'm going to do is go to pitch envelope and change the intensity of the pitch envelope generator from zero to 27. Now I'm going to change it to 27 because I want to go from this note to this note. And there are 27 semitones between the two. So I'm going to just go ahead and change that to 27 along with this one, 27 as well, 27. Right now, it's not quite a rise synth that I'm getting. So I'm going to go to the actual pitch envelope. So when I exit, it takes me back to the home page. And the pitch envelope is usually the second envelope right here. So there's a list of EGs or envelope generators. And the second one is the pitch envelope right there. So I'm going to create a shape that ramps up. So instead of having a vertical line right here, I'm going to make that into a diagonal line that points upwards. And I'm going to flatten the rest of it as well. So to do that, I'm just going to tap on the parameter and just drag and touch and drag. And I'm going to change the time attack value from zero to a higher value. So it creates that diagonal line right there. It's not quite a diagonal line. There is a bit of a curve and that curve is created by this value. So I'm just going to choose the attack value from three to zero and the rest of them, I'm going to just touch and drag and make them zero as well. So now I should have a rising synth and still not quite what I want. I want that to drag in longer. So I'm going to choose attack, the time attack, and increase that value even more until I get that. So maybe a little less than that. Another modification I'm going to do is change the amp envelope and maybe put in a bit of a tail to that release value. So I'm going to increase that. So I can just um, I can just turn my dial right here, or maybe just hold that down and have a listen to it. And that's not still still not the effect that I want. So I'm going to go back to that pitch envelope and increase the release value from zero to 99. So level release and time release will go up to 99 as well. And when I let go of the key, it should just stay in that pitch. All right. So that's exactly what I want. And the last touch to that sound is putting some effects. I'm going to press page, choose insert effects. Right now we haven't got any effects selected. I'm going to change routing from left and right to insert effects one. And there's no effect selected going to go to insert effects and put in a bit of uh, put in a bit of ensemble 
So I'll go to the chorus category and choose ensemble. And there you go. There's your pitch rise synth. And that was the patch of the week. Thanks for watching.